My area of study here is in uh, production operations management within the business uh, program. Um, this is uh, uh, one of the functional areas just like finance, marketing, accounting. But that's a broad area and within that uh, lean operation systems is where my specialty lies in. What lean basically is a philosophy of elimination of waste, complete waste. Uh, the question is what kind of waste? Waste could be overproduction, reworking, defects, anything that customer does not want to pay money for. To give you a very small example, I saw workers scooping nuts and bolts to put tires on the car and they'll scoop and they have to put one or two, nut, nut, you know, four nuts and bolts. All of a sudden two will fall down, okay? When it fell down, there's no motivation to pick those up. To them, it's a small piece of metal, scrap waste, and they will just kick it under the machine. Multiply that by hundreds of thousands of workers times, uh, you know, so many days in a year, and there's a lot of money tied in. Toyota always looked at it as uh, cash on the floor, and cash gets attention. I'm going to make nine of these. I asked the students to simulate uh, actual assembly line in the classroom, and here you see the chassis, and here is a transmission called the gut and they have to put this together and on top of that they make three different models of cars. So here is an orange uh, hood, uh, orange middle part and orange uh, the back part. One of the important elements is standardization which means can I use the same chassis and the same transmission to produce different models of cars or do I need different chassis and different transmission to produce different models of cars. So students could be making a pickup, a sedan, or different colored cars using same chassis, same transmissions. My work has been in uh, comparing traditional systems versus the new systems, push and pull systems, and uh, what are some of the implications. Uh, is the new system better under all circumstances? Are there situations where the new system fails to deliver? Another area that I have uh, delved into is quality. Okay, to give you an idea, this is a can of Coke that was produced and you can see it's sealed from all sides, but it, it has no fluid. So as the cans were coming under the nozzle to be filled, something went wrong in the system. Now if it is not caught soon enough, thousands of these cans could be produced and this is a defect. Okay? Another example is this can of Pepsi sealed again from all sides as you can see but you can hear very little fluid in there okay C customers have paid a dollar to drink 12 fluid ounces are they really drinking 12 fluid ounces this is a classic quality problem we are in an economy where a uh, lot of outsourcing is happening we are moving a lot of manufacturing abroad um, and uh, companies in the United States have to become extremely competitive highly productive and uh, you know, and at a very low cost, okay, and be able to respond quickly. I just ordered some furniture. It's amazing to me, it takes six weeks of delivery time for the customer to receive furniture. Today, we, our demand is highly customized. We want very unique demand, but we want Henry Ford efficiency. And that's a very big level of challenge that we're dealing with. Anytime there is waste involved, any time, waste of time, waste of uh, uh, parts, waste, of, uh, waste due to defectives, waste due to rework, that cost eventually gets transferred on to the customers. Lean comes into play, it tries to raise you, eliminate your waste, which translates into savings and cost, raising your quality level, creating a culture of continuous improvement, and making companies extremely competitive and productive.